Hey everyone, today I'm gonna do a recipe video. I've never done one of these before. Um, so basically, um, it's just gonna be you seeing what I'm going to make for lunch today. So what we're making is a type of pasta dish. So um, for the pasta dish, um, for the veggies that go in, since we are vegetarian, we've got a jalapeno, and this is actually a um, like one from a jar that is like the pickled jalapenos. Um, green bell pepper, zucchini, onion, squash thing. Looks gross, but it's actually just because it sat on the counter. And Spanish olives. Seems weird, I know, but it turns out really, really well. So basically, first step is just to chop up all the veggies and get a, um, a good, fine chop on all of those. So, this is how I do my bell peppers. I cut off all the sides. Some people core them differently. But if you cut off all the sides and then save your bottom, all you've got is this core that you're missing. And um, that's it. So you've gotten the most bell pepper for your money. So I've got a pan heating up, and I'm going to add my veggies in now. You may ask, do you put oil in? No, you don't. Um, does it make it better if you do? Yes, it does. We don't because you can't have the extra fat in the diet, um, and it's just better for you in general not to use any. So just adding all the veggies to that pan. Make sure you stir often if you're not going to use any oil. Add a little bit of water, and that makes the veggies kind of simmer down. Taking a couple scoops of water from my pan. And as soon as my water starts boiling, I have to make the decision of whether I want these or these. I think I'm going with these. Type of goulashy type of thing. Here's the sauce. If you're kind of looking for a healthier type of sauce and you don't really know, um, Prego veggie smart in the chunky and savory. If you look at the ingredients, 
The ingredients list is really, I mean, it's, it's really great. So tomato puree, water and tomato paste, diced tomatoes and tomato juice, sweet potato juice concentrate, onions, carrot juice concentrate, canola oil, celery salt, dehydrated onions, spice, citric acid, dehydrated garlic, lower sodium and natural sea salt and natural flavoring. So if you look at everything back here, 90 calories in half a cup, 1.5 grams of fat, 360 milligrams of sodium. Compared with a lot of the other sauces, this is a much better, um, much better type here. So there's that, and it'll be really chunky and veggie-ish, and um, yeah. So my water's just about to boil, and I'm going to add the noodles in. While you're waiting for your pasta to cook, I, I just been kind of you watch Pretty Little Liars so, and sit did around did you know what doing nothing, I'm waiting for things to get soft. Class. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. All right, time to add your sauce to your veggies. I'm sure everyone knows of this trick, but I always like to let people know. Put some water in your, in your can. It's not a can, it's a bottle and then you pour it in and it gets all of it out of your jar and adds a little bit more to your meal. So once this is all mixed up, it's, it's a really chunky sauce, but there's a couple of ingredients that I definitely am missing that I normally usually add. So those would be basil, um, fresh basil, really really makes this so much better so I just stick the whole leaves in and let them wilt down and it adds a different flavor and texture and consistency that really makes it good so that's basically the sauce um, add garlic powder onion powder um, in large quantities if you want you know it only makes it taste better um, and um, you can add salt and pepper if you want but it really doesn't need it and uh, Italian seasoning if you want. But basically that's it, and I'll show you the finished product. So here's the finished product. It is pasta. <laughs> Lots of veggies, like a couple of grams of fat. I mean, really pretty healthy for you as far as pastas go. So if you're used to only making pastas with meat in them, think again. Um, really, this tastes awesome especially if you add pepperoncinis, and you can add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, I guess, if you eat that kind of stuff. Um, we don't, so this is what we make, and um, it's really, really yummy. And you can put garlic bread on the side, or veggies, or a salad, or whatever have you. There you go.